I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. Okay, so I finally made it to my hotel room and I want to show you guys what it looks like. So here we go. So to your left is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. And then you come in, you got your desk area, the balcony, the bed. And then right here is the closet slash mirror area. Slide it over here. And over here, another entrance to the bathroom, which that is super cute. Hey y'all, so by the title of this video, y'all already know where I'm at. Um, this is my first international trip and I cannot believe it. Your girl is in Europe, basically. I'm in Switzerland, Zurich to be exact. And I'm here for like a week, so I wanted to come down here a little earlier to explore um, the, the city. But tomorrow, I will be in Italy. I can't believe it. Like, I feel like this is like a dream for people like going to Paris, France and stuff like that. Or Italy or somewhere. I never saw that in my life going to Italy. And... God put me in a position to where I can be able to see things that I never thought I would see. And I'm so grateful for that. So, I am excited, nervous. I don't know. Like, this is the farthest away I've been from my family. And it is 10.55 a.m. right now. So, back home, it's probably like 4.55 a.m. No. Yeah, 4.55 a.m. I think it's a six hour difference and that's been messing me up for real for real and another thing the language barrier that also been messing me up it took me 30 minutes to get from the train station to a tr another train just to get to the hotel like I was lost y'all like really lost and another thing like using the lights I did not know how to use the lights that was another thing for me but anyway the plan today is to go to brunch at this restaurant that I found on TikTok. And then um, after that, probably go and see the most expensive street in the world. And then maybe Old Town, just to see the Old Town and stuff like that. That's everything I think I want to do today because Zurich is closed on Sunday. Like nothing is open but the train station. And I don't know what I'm going to eat because how is everything closed? Anyway, I got to get ready and get to this train station. My voice sounds a little raspy because I'm trying to talk low and then I'm thirsty and then, yeah. So, but stay tuned. <laughs> They are closing in 20 minutes. I had a reservation set for 1130, but they closing early for some reason. They're supposed to close at seven today. So I'm not gonna eat here, but I did wanna show you guys what it looks like 
in the inside give you that ambiance because it's really cute in there so now i gotta find somewhere to eat I'm not sure the name of this meal, but it was homemade noodles with chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, lemon sauce, and zucchini. <music> So I made it to Bahnhofstrasse, I think that's how you say it. This is the most expensive street in the world. And I just wanted to tour it. So y'all see Chanel right there. So I got the toast and a Coca-Cola. It's really called, well, I called it toast, but she was like, it's toast. And I'm about to sit out here, eat it, just enjoy the view for a little bit before I head back to the hotel. So I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing and then I'll see you when I'm there. Supposed to be my train, but I'm an hour early, so it's not here yet. Currently waiting for it to come. Everybody keeps looking at me y'all. Like I know I'm a little overdressed, but this is Italy we talk about. Just sneak peek. Finally made it to Italy. That's the cathedral. Yeah, it took forever, but your girl here. To the rooftop, not the actual restaurant. So I can see the views of the cathedral and stuff. This is gonna be so cute. Okay, so I'm back and I'm about to do a little shopping. Hopefully, Gucci got what I want because. I've been wanting this for the longest. But after this, I got tickets to tour the cathedral. And then my train leaves to head back to Zurich at like 17. So yeah, we're gonna make the best of this day. is to wear basically a paper dress just look like a poncho it's so hot
Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Um, it is currently 1.36 p.m. here in the afternoon. So, um, I just wanted to come up here and close this vlog out. Yes, unfortunately, this isn't the end of the vlog. Um, I'll be in Switzerland for the rest of this week, but it'll mainly be for work, so I won't really have time to vlog. And plus, I really want to enjoy the scenery. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys about my experience in Italy. And since I've been here, for one, I will say the people are nice. They are very nice. I almost missed my train to Italy and from Italy to get back here, like, because of the language barrier. Like, somebody had to help me figure out how, where, where my train was. So nice to help me do that. And um, also how to get to the correct cart, because it's, like, different carts within the whole train. Some of the carts, like, uh, detach, so they don't all go to the same cities. So that was very helpful. Um, but while I was down here, I went to the cathedral, which y'all saw in the vlog. And that was the best thing that I did since I was there. Like, just watching the priests walk in and they're going through their program. Even though I couldn't understand anything, it was just so peaceful. The most peaceful part of it was hearing the man sing. And um, someone was on the organ piano. I think that's what it's called. Um, so that was very peaceful. And, you know, just... Seeing what I'm not really, I'm not a Catholic. I'm a Christian, but I'm not a Catholic. So it was kind of different for me just to be there. But I liked the experience. I really did. This whole experience was very mind blowing. But um, I also went, you know, and saw the little shopping area. You know, y'all saw that. And I went in Gucci or whatnot. And I've been wanting this bag for my birthday for the monkeys. And I was like, mm, it's five hundred dollars cheaper here, you know, than paying it online. So I would be saving some money, and uh, it'll be an early birthday gift to myself, I guess. So um, this was the last one that they had in stock there. So yeah, I was grateful for that. Um, it was between this bag and another bag, but the other bag they didn't have it in there at all. So he brought out like a sister bag. It was cute, but it was too much money than what I was trying to spend. So, so yeah, I end up getting the Ophidia small bag. And I'm about to unbox that before I close out this vlog. Okay, so they gave me this big bag. This is the smaller box that came, that the um, purse came in. Um, and they also gave me... The tax refund information, so fill this out and then take it to the airport when I leave. But yeah, so that is the box. Hold on, I gotta get a picture. I had to get my picture, but uh, I don't want to do this. But it's so cute like that. Yeah, they don't keep all of this stuff since I don't spend this much money. So when I was there, he wanted to make sure that it didn't have any um. Before he rung it up, they didn't have any tears or anything up there on it. So, hold on. Look at it. It's so cute. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Y'all, I'm so excited. Wait. This is the bag. The Gucci Ophidia, I think I'm saying it right, the small one. And down here, on the original, the original price is $16.50, but down here I got it for $12.90 and I get like $160 back for the VAT refund. Since I'm a non-resident, she pretty. This is my new baby, and I'm going, I'm definitely going to wear her out like Tiffany Haddish wore that white dress. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She said she gonna wear that white dress all the time. Baby, y'all gonna see this all the time. Cause this is an expensive bag. I have never spent this much money on a bag, so. And y'all saw the inside, but I'll show it again. So, take the little papers out. And get the authentication stuff. Inside, it's like a teal turkey, not teal. I 
feel like a deep turquoise or something blue. It's really cute. It's like a blue. It's a blue. And that's basically it. But I can't take. I don't know. When you do the whole bag refund process, I think you gotta go and declare your items and stuff like that. You gotta pay like a percentage on it when you get to the airport to get your bag refund and all that stuff back. So this is my first time trying to do something like that, so I don't know how this is about to go, but I've been watching YouTube videos. And yeah. So that's how we gonna do it. I'm gonna put it back for right now. This is the end of the vlog. Tell me if you've ever been to Italy or if you plan on going to Italy. If you do, get you something designer. It's way cheaper. And um, I just felt like the people in there were very nice. I didn't think I was going to buy anything because I'm not the type to spend that type of money on stuff. But I've been wearing that bag for a long time. And I'm like, I'm in Italy. If you're in Paris or France, that's where you're really supposed to buy some designer. But had to come get her so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe y'all to the next video bonafide tay is out peace